ski and ride instructors sue Bail Resorts for skimping on overtime. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. A $100 million class action lawsuit accuses Vail Resorts of going cheap on employees. This from Business Den. Three Beaver Creek instructors say the company does not compensate fairly for extra hours, training, and gear. At least one claims he is owed $17,000 in overtime pay. That lawsuit was filed last week. Vail Resorts has not responded. A Breckenridge liquor store clerk is guilty of a misdemeanor for selling alcohol to a woman who drove drunk, killing two on Highway 9 last year. This from the Summit Daily. The clerk argued he did not knowingly sell booze to the drunk woman, but Judge Edward Casillas disagreed. The clerk has not been sentenced yet. A second clerk is in court soon. The woman, Lindsay Lee Ward, is serving 16 years in prison. The mystery of the monolith has come to Colorado. Sunlight Mountain near Glenwood Springs reports a tall, skinny, reflective block appeared at the base of the ski hill recently, just in time for opening day this Friday. Other larger monoliths with cryptic markings have appeared in Moab, Romania, and elsewhere. Springtime was just a bit stressful for local finance departments. Summit County Manager Scott Vargo. It has been interesting, painful, challenging for all of our staff, certainly. The uncertainty, I think, has been the biggest challenge for everybody. Towns and the county cut dozens of projects worth tens of millions, but several big projects survived. In Breckenridge, the broadband project and downtown parking structure moved forward, same as most of 4th Street Crossing in Silverthorne and Peninsula improvements in Frisco. Tune in this afternoon for part three in our week-long budget review series. Summit County's Level Red shutdown goes under review December 18th, and Health Director Amy Wineland is not holding her breath for Level Orange by Christmas week. We're not allowed to actually request to be moved out of Level Red until we have two to four weeks of sustained decline. Local caseload has been falling for about one week now, but it's not even close to Level Orange. A statewide variance program letting restaurants and rentals sidestep capacity limits also will not happen before Christmas. As of yesterday, this program will be able to be implemented in early February. They want to see what happens over the holidays. The latest now on coronavirus and eBay. Kudos to Brian for his work in getting the freezers that we need in order to be able to store this vaccine here in Summit County. That was County Manager Vargo thanking Emergency Manager Brian Boverd for buying freezers on eBay. Vargo also mentioned that Eagle County and Vail Health got vaccine freezers from the state. Local nurses, doctors, and EMTs are first to get vaccinated sometime in coming weeks. Summit County's latest infection rate is 1,117 per 100,000 people, more than 750 points above level orange. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, you've got a few more days to sign up for Uller Bike, opening race of a four-part virtual fat bike series. Uller Bike is this Saturday, December 12th, at Gold Run Nordic Center in Breck. Get details at mavsports.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.